Hey folks, welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. Today you're going to be learning how to create this cool water animation effect in After Effects. Let's get started. We are going to start off by creating a new composition. 1920 by 1080 is okay, and then just set the duration to whatever you want. I'm going to just set it to about 8 seconds. Press OK. So now we have a blank screen here. We're going to start off by making the background. And we can do that by right clicking in the composition, selecting new, solid, and then we're going to just make a white solid. Now let's create our text. So go over to the top of the tools here and we're going to select our horizontal type tool. We're going to click in the center of the screen and I'm just going to type a word, any word. We're going to go with water. Now I'm just going to highlight the text by hitting command A on my keyboard. For PC users that is control A. And I'm just going to increase the size of my text. And then just use my selection tool here to just move this in the center. We're going to um, properly center it later, but let's just make sure we're happy with it. So let's select the text. And then I'm just going to adjust the size. You can also adjust things like font and color. I'm going to go with the blue. Then once you're happy with that, we can actually select the text layer. And then holding down command, I want you to click this anchor point tool twice. And that will put the anchor tool in the middle of the text. Then if we go to a line, we can center it perfectly on screen. Now that we've done that, we're going to duplicate this layer and we can do that by selecting it and hitting Command C, Command V. For PC users, that is Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to hide the first water layer and we're just going to focus on the second water layer. I'm going to rename it to Water Outline. Now let's go over to the Characters panel again. And we are going to make this an outline text instead of a filled text. And we can do that by just clicking this arrow here. It'll just swap the colors. And then this color down here will be the color of the outline. We can adjust the stroke outline here. So I think going with something like 10 is great. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and hide your water outline. And we're just going to unhide the first layer. Now we are going to create a shape and this shape is what we're going to use to animate the water. Go to the shape layer tool here and make sure it is set to rectangle. I'm going to click and drag to create a rectangle shape. Just make sure that it is bigger than the text itself. Once you've done that, go into effects and presets and we are going to search for wave warp. You can apply the effect by selecting the layer and just double clicking it. And it should look a little wavy here. Let's go into our effect controls and we are going to adjust some of the settings here. We're going to change the wave width to 70 and then you can adjust things like height. I'm going to leave it around 10 and then you can also adjust the wave speed as well. So the higher it is, the faster the wave will be. I like to keep it around 1.0. So it should look something like this. Now what I want you to do is move this water wave shape layer in between the two text layers. And then we are going to track mat the water layer to the shape layer like that. So when we animate the positioning of the shape layer, you'll see that it animates on screen like that. And that is exactly what we want unhide the water outline text layer and you'll see the outline kind of helps define the wave a little bit here. Now all we have to do is animate the water so that it fills up the text like a cup. So we're going to start at the bottom here, moving the position of the shape layer down right to the bottom like that. We're going to make a keyframe and then let's move over to about one second. We can adjust this later and then just move it up all the way like that. Let's see how this is looking so far. So that's a little too fast. I'm going to drag this out to about three seconds. That's a little better. And then let's smooth out these keyframes. We can do that by highlighting them. Right click, keyframe assistant, and then easy ease. 
And that's pretty much it folks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Office As channel for more videos. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!